Burlington Elementary School, I built a time machine. My family and I took a refrigerator box into our backyard and spray painted it gold. Once the paint dried, we stuck circuit boards to the walls of the box. Finally, we took it into our house and crawled inside. Well, my brother and I did. My parents stood outside and took pictures. Much to our dismay, we didn't emerge in a world full of dinosaurs or of flying cars. And looking back, I think I and all of you Calvin and Hobbes fans can easily identify our amateur mistake. The box was on its side instead of right side up, making it a duplicator, not a time machine. And as much as I still love Calvin and Hobbes and cardboard, I didn't bring either with me tonight. And even if I did, I wouldn't be able to take, to take us back in time. Over the past four years, I've learned about the significance of time, about the importance of certain moments in time. And to illustrate that, I'd like to recall a few special times of my high school experience. The first time I walked the halls of Naperville Central was the summer before my freshman year. I carried a map in one hand and my schedule in another. I felt like I was walking through a labyrinth. I wondered how I would be able, ever be able to navigate my way through the school, and I'm sure some of you were thinking the same thing. But at the same time we felt that nervousness, we also felt a sense of excitement. We would soon be entering completely new environments. We could never start high school again for the first time. While we cannot relive, relive this experience, we can use it to prepare for the future. Most of us will be starting college in just a few months. Others will be joining the military or perhaps going to the workforce. We are all going to different places, but we all have one thing in common. We will all be in those places for the same, for the first time. Another significant time for me was my first debate tournament. While only a few of us are on the debate team, I know that many of us participate in competitive events. The adrenaline rush as competition begins, the camaraderie with teammates and with friends, and the feeling of belonging on a team, these cannot be replicated. Each of us can come back and visit the halls of Naperville Central, but we will never again feel what it felt like to walk those halls for the first time. Each of us can come back to the football field or to the math rooms, but none of us will ever again feel what it felt like to be an athlete or a mathlete for the first time. We can always come back and visit places, but times exist only as memories within us. We can use those memories to prepare for the future. For once the future happens, once the days pass and the time is gone, we cannot get it back. No matter how strong our imagination or how large our, our cardboard box. Each of us must make the best of the time that we have. And in order to do that, we need to slow down. I wish that somebody would have told me this when I started high school. The past four years has been a flurry of homework, after school activities, and Facebook status updates. We are so caught up in whatever we are doing that time breezes right by us, carrying away the scent of the roses that we should be stopping and smelling. But if we can slow that wind and trap that scent, then we can fully appreciate the present. Let's try it now. Take a moment and look around you. Rather than taking a digital picture right now, look around and take a mental picture. This night is the culmination of our time together. The smiles and the tears that will be shared can be best treasured tonight. They are the beautiful expression of the friendships and the hardships through which we have all lived. This time will soon be over. We will be able to come back and visit the stadium. We will be able to come back and visit the school. But in order to visit this time, we must preserve it forever inside of us. We cannot fight the current of time, Hi. but we can learn to float along in it. We can take time to slow down, maybe back paddle a little, and appreciate the moments in which we are living. And while Calvin and Hobbes cannot take us back in time, they can prepare us for the future. As each of us sets off on our different paths, we should remember the words that Calvin spoke to his stuffed tiger, Hobbes. It's a magical world out there, Hobbes, old buddy. Let's go exploring.